Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we're going to be messing with pulsers, and a lot of them. First off, I want to start this out the best way I could by turning the entire solar system into pulsers. The best way I found to do this is to just increase the radius of everything, just stupidly increase it. Oh, maybe the sun won't let me. But I can do it with other things, so it's all good. Okay, let's do this. So, Earth. We may have to slightly tweak this for each planet, but it should, in theory, work uh, similarly. Uh, so, Earth, we just switch its... No, no, not that. We switch this to one sun. That's going to make it into a pulsar. Uh, I think we can actually just do this for all of them. Switch them all to one sun in radius. No, that one did not become a pulsar. No! Uh, let's see if Mercury does. If anything, we're making, um... Oh, Mercury became a pulsar. Venus did not, for whatever reason. Earth did. Mars, let's see if Mars becomes a pulsar. It should, because it's very similar to Earth. No. It's like a 50-50 chance. You never know when you're going to become a pulsar. Okay, so we're going to have to go a little bit bigger than that for uh, Jupiter. So let's just go like... A hundred or just ten. Nope, that did not make it into a pulsar, but what it did do is increase its mass quite a f uh, quite a bit. Um, let's try Saturn. Do three for Saturn. Well, Saturn's uh line became red. I have a feeling those are just going to explode and there's going to be a stupid amount of supernovas here, but we're trying our best. Trying our best. Okay. So, we are going to... So, this to... Two. Oh, yes! It, it worked! There we go. Let's try the same thing with Neptune because they're pretty similar. No. It, it seems so random whether or not they become a pulsar. I think... Oh, where's Pluto? Pluto, I don't think you're going to work. I think you're too small, but, you know... What could possibly go wrong? Okay, well, we tried. And now we're going to watch the aftermath of this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I, I could have expected that. Um, honestly, that wasn't very surprising. Considering what we've done. Where's Earth? Because Earth is a legitimate pulsar. Let's just watch. So, Earth is kind of just flying down, running away from Jupiter. But Jupiter is getting closer. No! Oh. Oh my. <laughs> it's quite a large explosion. Now Saturn's going in. Oh, the sun. Oh. Whoa. Saturn became a pulsar. I don't think it was originally, but after going through, um, Jupiter <laughs> became one. Why is it, like, glowing so red over here? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Oh, it just keeps getting spat out. It's not actually being destroyed by Jupiter. But Jupiter definitely won this one. Do do do. And it's actually being pulled in between Neptune and Saturn, which both survived. And Neptune is a pulsar. So that's pretty cool. Let's do some more stuff with pulsars. Um I did actually save one. It's called Pulse Earth. Get it? Haha. <laughs> because I made it from Earth. 
and we're just going to fire it at the solar system and see what uh, havoc this causes. So, Pulse Earth is slowly gaining speed and getting closer. We can actually see it from Earth. It's brighter than the stars. Well, when it's facing us, because you have to remember with pulsers, they flip around, and that flipping causes it to look like it's blipping. So let's give it a bit more time. A few years, maybe. And we can clearly see it's getting closer. But a little bit more. How clearly can we see that? I mean... Soon. Soon it'll be very obvious. That's a pulsar. I don't know if it's affecting anything yet here. Nope. Earth's temperature and stuff is all normal. Pulse Earth is going to have to get a little bit closer. Okay, now their orbits are definitely being messed with. They're being pulled up as the sun gets pulled towards Pulse Earth. But Earth is still doing fine. It's not too cold or too warm. Where is Pulse Earth? Oh, there it is. So there are small temperature fluctuations because our orbit's being messed up, but they're not as bad as I would have expected. Um, also, everything's being pulled up, so it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's not just a flat plane anymore. Oh, now we can definitely see the blipping. NASA would be having a field day, except everyone would be freaking out because they're going to die. Still, astronomers would get paid a lot. Um, so now you can see all the planets are just, their orbits are completely <laughs> messed up. But Earth is still a fine temperature. Um, it won't be once those collide and cause a supernova, but that's not going to be for a little bit. Oh man, it's getting really close. Let's see what that would look like from Earth. Let's go on this side of Earth. And just see how clear. Oh, we're spinning. Yeah, look at that. You can pretty clearly see it. You, oh, man. It's spinning pretty weirdly. But yeah. People on Earth definitely now know that they're doomed. Um, temperature is still pretty normal. But the sun, oh, Earth is being pulled in by Pulse Earth more than the sun now. Now is when things are going to start going very wrong. Mars has actually already been stolen, but Earth, Earth's time has come. It's being pulled around. And this collision is going to end everything. <laughs> well, not, well, the solar system. It's going to end the solar system. Pulse Earth versus the Sun. Oh, that's a pretty cool bloom effect. Whoa! Oh, man. Okay, Earth. It's all going to be okay. <laughs> okay, Earth isn't doing too badly yet, considering there was just a supernova. Now, Earth has been hit. And Earth is now dead. <laughs> so is the rest of the solar system, but that was still pretty interesting. Watching Pulse Earth destroy everything. Pulse Earth is actually quite small in diameter. So let's do one more thing. Um, Let's go new. Grab normal Earth. And let's shoot Pulse Earth at it, and watch it in slow motion. Cause there's a sort of red glow. Actually, I won't even shoot it, we'll put it here. Let them slowly go towards each other. 
So Earth is being pulled in. Pretty slowly though. Once you get in here, all the stuff being shut. Oh, we're actually not going to hit the beam, so we would survive. Well, until we hit it. This is going to absolutely annihilate Earth. Look at that red glow, it's so apocalyptic. The atmosphere is literally red. <laughs> the color of blood. And Pulse Earth is about to hit Earth. Earth is actually, uh bigger when we look at diameter oh the collision has actually turned uh pulse earth back into a star earth is earth just absorbed a star <laughs> oh my and now earth is the sun or a star uh how big are we compared to the sun oh we're pretty close so we could actually, if we wanted to, um, make a little uh, solar system around this. Just, you know, we'll use some of our, oh god, it's Ninja Star, the spy planet who was invisible but isn't invisible anymore. John Cena, Grim Reaper, Donald Trump. Doge, Devons, and there we go. It's great. We have an entire solar system going around, well, Earth, question mark. I don't know what to consider it anymore, but. Yay. They're all moving very quickly. <laughs> They're going in an adventure. It's the Rainbow Galaxy team oh my god one of them crashed into uh pulse earth or earth and um great i think it was doge doge suicide bombed the star and now everyone's dying because of doge it really does look like a rainbow though oh look at that that's pretty cool if you look like this we Well, that's quite a bit of Pulsar-related stuff, but we'll do one more. Pulsar versus Pulsar. Oh, and this one's actually orbiting the other one. I didn't mean to do that. Let's quickly just, uh kill its velocity kill <laughs> and then we're going to let them collide it's the end of the world as we know oh my god it's getting really uh, bright in here we're in the beam okay they're about to collide the final moments. Oh, they're going to miss. But no, they won't because we're going to cheat. We're going to zero velocity, both of them, so that this doesn't take 10 years. And now they're actually going to collide. Look at that. It's really bright now <laughs> because there's two of them. They've made like a giant blue halo. Looks pretty awesome. Oh! Oh, they actually have collided now. And, um... Supernova! I don't think there's anything left. Usually there's, like, debris. Oh, there we go. There's the fragments. How big are these fragments? These are 32 Jupiters. Pretty large. And we're going to let it cool down and see what it looks like. The remnants. still heating up. Oh, now it's kind of shrinking. Cooling itself down. Oh man, it's glitching out a bit. 
Uh, we. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed Pulsers, I will do more stuff with them in the future. Oh man, there are quite a few fragments actually. <laughs> um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and we will be having a stream today if you're watching this now. It'll probably be at like 7 or 8-ish, depending. But um, once again, thank you for watching, and leave a like and sub uh, yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you for all the support. We're about to hit 5,000 subscribers, and we're going to have a special special for that. See you all in the next video.